Okay, so just to set uh, things straight, I'm not going to talk about um, how infrared photography works. I'm going to talk about why it works, for me at least. Okay, so um, please. Yeah, the why of infrared photography. But before we go to the why, we go first to the when. Um, when did it all start? So let's go first dun sa infrared. Okay, well, it started yung mga, mga bubuyog, mga, mga insekto. Okay, lalo na yung mga naghahanap ng mga nectars. Okay, they, they find their flowers using infrared. Okay, it's invisible light, infrared. And um, ginagamit nila yon para ma-determine kung alin yung dahon sa bulaklak. Okay, so that's how they do it. So, mula pa nung Carboniferous period, ginagawa na nila yan. And then, millions of evolutions after, um, ginamit naman siya ng tao so, uh, as a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Paano siya nagamit na ganun? Kasi nung panahon na yun, 1910s, um, World War yun, tapos, ginagamit nila infrared um, para sa night vision nila. Yun yung panahon na na... na sinilang ang night vision. Okay, so yung mga mga mis, uh, mga goggles nila kaya mag-view through haze, through walls, even through some fa fabrics. There was one uh, there was one time na yung may isang kilalang camera brand na nagkaroon ng issue kasi yung may, yung night mode niya um kayang makakita direct the, uh, lampas dun sa damit ng tao. Ganun yung ano ginagawa niya. We will talk about that Uh, a bit more later. Okay. So, ito lang. Konting ano lang. Hindi, hindi ako mag-specify kasi kahit ako hindi ko siya masyado naiintindihan. Uh, okay. This is the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. Ang nakikita lang natin itong multicolored na nasa gitna. Okay. And then makikita nyo, di ba may mga numbers dito. Ayan. Um, 10 to the exponent negative 6. Pero tinan mo to. Yung visible light and then yung infrared. Sobrang liit ng difference nila. Yung gitna nila. So, there's a big chance na, the, na makontaminate nung infrared light yung nakikita natin. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ngayon ng mga camera manufacturers is they put in this dun sa unahan ng sensor ng cameras. Which is, well, some, some they call it hot mirror. Um, ito yung IR block filter. Infrared block filter. Basically, it blocks the excess infrared. Or the infrared. It's Um, para hindi makontaminate. Bakit niya nakokontaminate yung, yung picture natin? Kasi, well, sa rule naman talaga, we're not supposed to see invisibility. ba? Diba? So we're just supposed to see visible things. So kung meron kang invisible patches doon, it's like having kimchi and ice cream. Ganun po yung magiging itsura ng mga pictures natin. So, eh, makukulit yung mga photographers. Gusto nilang maging iba. So, may umimbento nito. Yung IR pass filter. Okay? IR pass filter, um, ginagawa niya yung complete opposite nito. If this blocks the infrared light, this, um, uh, the IR pass filter lets the infrared light only. Infrared light lang. Tapos yung visible light, hindi niya tinatanggap. Or at least sobrang maliit lang. Okay? So, ayan. So, ito yung mga few of my shots. I have like 18 there. Um, so, bakit, bakit infrared photo photography? Okay, why infrared photography? Um, I have four reasons. Okay? First reason is it's different. Lahat tayo gusto nating maiba. Sa panahon ngayon, parang <laughs> pag umakit ako ng bundok, lima kami sa grupo, apat may dalang camera. Yung isa may cellphone camera. ba? Diba? Parang, para, tapos pare-pare ako ng post, tapos hindi na lang kayo magtaga na lang sa Facebook, ba? Diba? So, gusto ko sana maiba. Kaya, Kaya ganyan yung, kaya gusto kong matutunan yung infrared. Next is discipline. Merong nagsasabi ng mga photographers, ayaw nila sa um, editing. Meron naman nagsasabi na super Photoshop heavy, nagiging graphic design na yung itsura niya. Um, dito kasi sa infrared photography, napakalaki yung chance na sumobra ka. Kasi after ng shot mo, everything is post-processing. Everything. Or else, kulay red, violet, at pink lang yung kuha mo. So, kailangan you make sure na mananatili yung pagiging picture ng photo mo at hindi siya magiging parang three-dimensional object na lang na ginawa sa computer. Okay? Third is, sabi nila, photography daw is, is art. 
Here, it's 50-50. 50% art, 50% science. Kasi dapat alam mo kung bakit kailangan may mga puno, mga dahon dun sa picture mo. Bakit? Kasi yung infrared light, tumatagos siya rin sa katawan ng halaman, tinatagos yung chlorophyll, tapos makikipaglaro yung infrared light dun sa mga cell walls niya. Tapos pag naglaro na siya rin sa cell walls, mag-bring up siya ng glow. At kaya siya, kita nyo, siya yung pinaka nagbibigay ng kulay dun sa picture. Okay? Um, as suppose dun sa langit, yung langit naman, since wala siyang chlorophyll at cell walls, nagsisim nagiging dark lang siya ganyan. Kaya lang nagkakaroon ng ganito, there are anomalies sometimes, ang tawag dito, overexposure. <laughs> okay. So, pero minsan, nailigtas pag, uh, pag kayang gawa ng paraan. And then lastly, ang gustong-gusto ko talaga with infrared photography is it's environmentally sound. Bakit? Kasi katulad na sabi ko kanina, um, it requires foliage para maging maganda yung, infra- yung photo mo. Ngayon, saan ba tayo kumukuha ng foliage? Sa dahon. Saan nagkakaroon, saan nagkagaling ang dahon? Sa halaman. Okay, at maraming halaman ang tawag puno. So hanggat nandyan yung mga puno natin, magiging maganda ang infrared photography. It will only work if you have plants and trees all around you. You, you can take um, buildings, you can take uh, infrared, ginagamit siya actually scientific work, um, ginagamit din siya sa, um, sa civil engineering, pero um, if you're going to use it this way, you need, this is in Corridor, um, kailangan mo yung mga puno. Or else, wala, dark lang siya. Parang nagsayang ka lang ng effort na i-convert mo yung camera. This is my camera, by the way. It's uh, an old uh, PowerShot G5. Ano number na natin yung G13? This is an old G5. And lahat ng mga infrared shots na yan, ito ang kumuha. Okay, it's just a 5 megapixel camera. I believe mga 3,000 na lang to sa market ngayon. And still, it can take pictures like that. Okay? And that's because we have trees. That's because we have plants all around. Um, this is in... This is in Bulacan uh, during a photo shoot uh, ng friend namin na kinasal. Ah, nito lang. UPM din siya. Makita nyo sila mamaya. Si Harris. Si Harris. Ayun. So, yun yung, yun yung maganda sa kanya. No, it's, hindi, hindi mo may isip na photography can be environmental, pero infrared photography is environmental. Because it requires foliage, it requires leaves, plants, and ayan, yan pala sila. Okay, and, b- and because of that, I love infrared photography. So if you guys wanna wanna learn, there's lots of people interested in the same craft. Okay, well, you can ask me if you want to. And uh, tulungan na lang tayo to make this place a better place. This is in uh, Mount Oriod. Paklik naman, oh. Ayan, green is good. Ah, cell phone number. Okay. Salamat. Salamat.